don't know what kind of sick joke you think this is, David, but you made it clear that we had no chance of ever fixing this. If you think some flowers and chocolates are going to change anything, you must be out of your fucking mind. You have a good day. What are you doing here? I'm just checking in. What the fuck are you doing here? I already answered that question. You promised me. Did you get my presents? You came to my home. You came to my work. It was my school too. You said you'd respect me. That you'd respect my wishes. And you got divorced. It doesn't matter. I think it does. Stay away from me, Marcus. I'm 19 now. You're not listening to me. You're not listening to me. Don't come near me, Marcus. Don't come anywhere close. Why are you so angry? Because I don't need this. I don't fucking need you. Yeah, you don't know what you fucking need. Don't start with me. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. We're done here. You told me that you couldn't be with me because you were with him. But he's gone now. And we are both here. And I don't necessarily believe in destiny, but this seems pretty perfect to me. I know you're scared, but you don't have to be. Gary, I'm sorry to ask, but can I stay at yours for the night? <laughs> you all right? Dad? You all right? Yeah, just uh, need some company. Yeah, let's get inside then. I need to get out of the house. I know. Don't worry. Is Tracy okay with me staying? What? Yeah, she's fine with it, yeah. Yeah, she, she understands. 
And the girls, are they okay? <laughs> yeah. A little tearaways, but no, they're great. They're in bed right now, so we can't... Can't really wake them. Sorry. It's all right. Uh, Mum keeps calling. And she asks about you a lot. I don't want to talk about it. Come on, Anne. Just, just pick up the phone. She'll ask about David, and I don't want to talk about it. I think if you need to stay here to get away from your house, then maybe you do need to talk about it? This isn't about him. Come on, Anne. I'm just trying to help. I don't need your help. Sorry, I... I'm just tired. I don't want to talk about him. And this isn't about David. I just... I needed some space and some company. Do you think we ever escaped the past? Nah. I don't think you can. I mean, the past is what made you who you are, and I don't think you can ever get away from that, for better or for worse. Sorry. Just... You just can't run from the past, because if you run from the past, then you're running from yourself, and you shouldn't do that. You should face the past, and face yourself, and, and you'll be better for it. For better or for worse. Welcome back. You broke into my house. <laughs> no. Made a copy? I might need it someday. Please sit down. We need to talk. Are we blunt? I still have feelings for you. I don't want us to be together. Listen to me, Marcus. We'll never be together. You're wasting your time. You're wasting mine. You took down your pictures. I remember you had too many before. Almost as if you were overcompensating. <laughs> what was it, Anne? Was it the frequent business trips? Conflicting ideas about kids. Did you actually tell them about us? Hmm. Nah. I guess you just got tired of a shitty fucking. Shut the fuck up, Marcus. You don't know what you're talking about. Did you leave him? What did I realise how madly in love with you I was? And leave him for a 19 year old? And? You're crazy, Marcus. Crazy. 
crazy, crazy, crazy. You say it enough, you might believe it, but you know it's not true. Did I see her? Did you let him see that anger? I really don't know what you want. I love you. I never stopped. You know what I want. You don't love me. You think you say that enough, it'll come true. Marcus. As smart as you are, you don't know what love is. You're too blinded by the memory of a two-year relationship, if you can even call it that, to know any better. It was a mistake for both of us. Is that what you tell yourself to feel better? Tell myself. I tell myself every day what I did. I raped you. Can you say that enough? I raped you over and over. And you think that's love? Because you're a child. You never raped me. Fifteen is rape, consensual or not. I don't fucking care what the law says, it was never rape. You think we were so madly in love that we were destined to be together? That David was the only thing in the entire world keeping us apart? You're better than that, Marcus. You know me. You knew me for two years. I never loved you. You're trying to get me to leave. I'm not lying. I didn't love you. I loved him. I'd have done anything in the world for that man. Okay. Tell myself he felt the same, just didn't express it the same way. Kept leaving because he had to. He never saw you. No, he saw me. That was never the problem. I think he stopped loving me long before you came in the picture. Please leave Marcus. There's nothing for us now. No. You're wrong, I'm not leaving you. Marcus. And, and I love you. You think what you said changes that? You think you can make me stop loving you just because you don't love me? What, did that stop you with him, huh? Don't you still love him now? I love you. So fucking much, Anne. You've got to understand that. I'll call the police. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't disrespect me like that. I don't want you in my life. And do you think he wanted you in his? No, sorry. Sorry, that was mean. I don't want to be mean to you. Marcus. Please leave. There is the phone for the police. I won't do anything to stop you. Marcus, I love I... you, man. I love you. But if you tell them about me. It's only fair I tell them about you. So choose.